Bonnie, I am back. Happy New Year. Happy Saturday. I almost said Sunday. I don't even know what day it is, you guys. But I want to talk today about the new wallflowers that are starting to roll in to Bath & Body Works for spring 2022. Now that we've hit January, semi-annual sale is going to be wrapping up. We basically have like 18 days left and they're just going to clearance off everything. Um, hopefully the prices go down a little bit more. Keep your eye on things. I'm going to be, you know, doing online. I'll probably get back to the store again, but prices are going to be going down. And then you're going to start seeing, especially if you have a white barn attached to your Bath and Body Works, more spring fragrance rolling in. Um, like I said in my earlier video, I did get raspberries and whipped vanilla. That is coming in. And then the wallflowers are usually where the new scents start up first. So that means like around July, maybe 5th, like the day after 4th of July, you should start seeing fall wallflowers again, which is like six, seven months. <laughs> like it's coming up fast. So I wanted to go over the ones that I got today um, because these are... Um, some of the ones the body care is going to be. So first of all, we've got Sweet Berry Peony, which is peony petals, sweet strawberries, and juicy pomegranate. I usually do like uh, peony scents from them. Perfect Peony was always a good scent. I like that one. Okay, why can't I get this off? Uh, make sure I'm doing it. Yeah. <laughs> Throw righty tiny Lucy lefty out the window. It's the opposite. Oh, this is nice. Oh, that smells springy. So I'm getting like the peony, but it's a little bit, um, it's not as pronounced. Um, peony petals. I can't decide if this is a floral or more of a fruity scent. Oh, I like this one. This one is nice. Okay, this was an over floral. Okay, next up I got, oh, I got the dark amber and oud. Remember I was saying I smell the candle? I wanted to just show this to you guys because um, I can't decide if I like it. This one is dark golden amber, fresh rainwater, and oud wood. This is definitely a deep scent. I don't know if I love this one. This one's definitely got like um, a mahogany type of um, vibe to it. And you know me, mahogany and I don't always get along, but I know a lot of people are excited about this one. It is considered a warm and comforting scent. So if you don't like the florals and if you're looking for like that really deep scent, I would try that one. I wanted to get one in the wallflower though. I also got Prosecco and Peaches. This is the one that's coming out in the body care. I think it's the macaroon. Um, it's bubbly champagne, juicy peach, and a hint of vanilla. Like I said, it's kind of interesting um, that we haven't gotten a true like bake shop collection. We're getting the brunch collection this year. Oh, wow. This is like market peach. This smells like market peach. I don't know about this one. This is very peachy. I don't know if this is going to be a body care that I'm going to love because you know me and peaches. <laughs> But um, I don't know. We shall see what it smells like in the body care. This just smells like straight on peach to me. Hint of vanilla. There's there's not a lot of vanilla in there. Um, next up, we have springtime in Paris. This one is um, soft peach. Another peach. It's like the year of the peach. Um, soft peach, lotus blossom, and fresh bergamot. I don't know if I'm going to like this one either. Let me see. Oh, I like this one. Oh, this one is nice. This does smell like Paris. I've never been to Paris, but what I imagine Paris would smell like, oh my gosh, this one smells really good. Oh, I hope they, are they doing a body care in this? They need to do a body care in this. That one is nice. It is so dry out, by the way. It is raining. It is gray. It is miserable outside. I need to plug this one in. This is going to make me feel a lot better. Um, the final one I got is Gingham Love, which is the new collection coming out for Valentine's Day. In the body care, this is sugared red berries, blushing freesia, and rose meringue. Let me see what this is like. Oops, it just flew off. <laughs> Let me see. This is very light. I like it. It's got like a strawberry. It's like a floral strawberry, but it's completely different than you're the one. It definitely smells more springy. 
This one's not bad. I, I'm going to have to smell this one in the body care. It's sweet, though. It's very sweet. Um, it's definitely not gingham. I mean, it's like not even close to being gingham, which Heart of Gold isn't either. So um, I don't know, you guys. This is kind of interesting. I'm really curious to see what Bath & Body Works is doing with the spring because... I was expecting to see more of a bake shop collection come out in like January, February. And what we got was, like I said, this brunch collection coming, which is the bubbly rosé, um, the peach macaroon, the whipped uh, berry one. So I don't know. We may get more bake shop stuff going into Easter. Who knows? We don't know yet. But I'm, I'm excited to see what's coming. I think this is going to be a solid collection. I don't know about this peach, though. To me, this just smells like market peach which I think a lot of, oh my gosh, is that peachy? I think a lot of people are going to like this. I think my favorite of these five is definitely the Sweet Berry Peony. This one's nice. And oddly, I do like, I like springtime in Paris. This almost smells like, it smells a little bit like the whole pink lilac and vanilla and um, uh, like the Blushing Poinsettia a little bit. I like this one though. This one's nice. This it doesn't say vanilla, but to me, this has got like a little bit of an Easter vanilla vibe. Anyway, um, those are the new wallflowers I picked up today. Let me know what you're excited for. I will see you guys soon. Bye-bye.